the recent developments in Bangladesh have shocked all of us because it was a stable government. Sheikh Hasina was in power for more than 15 years in a country which there is diversity, there is opposition. Though it's a secular country, uh, Islam is, a fun, is the state religion. So it is secular in definition, but in actual fact, Islam dominated. So after the liberation of Bangladesh, there was a section of the people in Bangladesh who felt that separation of Pakistan into two was wrong. And therefore, there's always been a tendency against India since India was the one which liberated Bangladesh. So anti-Indian feelings were growing there on the one hand. And secondly, religion between uh, Hindus and uh, Muslims, there was a divide, even though some Hindus were in the government and so on. And uh, the story which comes out now is that uh, Sheikh Hasina was very dictatorial. She had ordered several killings and therefore she was not a democrat and that is why this revolution took about, came about and that is what people feel. But the excuse for the revolution was very small. It was only a question of reservation of children of people who had engaged in the liberation struggle. But that the students did not want that reservation to be kept. But that was not a big issue. But while it was being resolved, suddenly it burst into a huge affair. Lots of people were killed in the, in the uh, campuses. It was basically, it was students, but not only students, others also joined the rebellion. And by the time it was 5th of uh, uh, this month, uh, that is August, the whole thing flared up and she had to leave to, uh, to India. Uh, initially, it looked as though she was going to seek refuge in some other country, but so far she is living in India and her hope is that uh, next election she will be able to go back and contest. But this is very uncertain because the army never really gives up power e easily. And therefore, under some pretext or the other, continue. But violence is the biggest issue. Many people are dying on the streets of Bangladesh even today, particularly Hindus, Hindu religious establishments, Indian cultural center, all these are being destroyed. So in a sense, it is an anti-Indian movement. But some people say it is not an anti-Indian movement. It is by chance that India got involved in it. We do not know. So who may have done it? Uh, the question is like, uh, could it be China? Because recently uh, she went to, Sheikh Hasina went to China and she was not received very well. And she was not given the protocol um, the arrangements that she is entitled to and the visit was a, was a failure. That is unusual for a head of government. The visit is always successful, but that did not happen. So behind that there could be Pakistan and therefore Pakistan, China, Bangladesh kind of an axis might develop and that will not be good for us. And there will be problems about Hindu being killed and many refugees may come to India. What do we do with them is a big issue. So it's a, it's a major crisis that is developed in Bangladesh. Ideally, they should be able to maintain law and order and then go to an election. That would be the ideal solution. But whether that will happen or whether there will be more violence, more people will be killed, we do not know. As far as India is concerned, there's a first class problem because we had good relationship with Bangladesh. We had a lot of investments in the country and we are dependent on Sheikh Hasina, as the leader of Bangladesh, as a friend, we invested in her in that sense. So if she removed the scene permanently, that will also be a big issue because if Khalidasiya come to power, comes to power, she may be not, a, not very friendly to us. So all these things uh, remain uncertain. What we can hope for is restoration of democracy and Sheikh Hasina goes back and there are general elections. But it does not seem possible to happen that. It, it will possibly be more chaos and we do not know what the future will be of Bangladesh. We can only hope and pray that majority will be restored, the democracy will be restored and Sheikh Hasina will be able to go back to power. That would be the ideal situation. But this time now, what we see is not in that direction at all. And that is a bad omen for India and the region.